Twin Cities Adventures here, and in today's video, we are gonna make a bagel, cream cheese, lox, caper, red onion sandwich. So, we're going to New York next weekend, and I've been watching these culinary videos about all the different foods in New York, and apparently, the It Bagel Sandwich is the lox bagel sandwich. And I saw a video on it, and I've been daydreaming about it ever since, so I thought, hmm, maybe I should make a video of me making one myself. And then when we get to New York, I'll order one and we'll do a comparison. First up, a nicely toasted bagel. Everything bagel, that is. Cream cheese on both sides. A whole bunch of capers. A bunch of purple onions. Here's my $10 package of kosher smoked lox. I'm gonna do two sandwiches. So I have that and I have another one. I'll save for another time. There we have it, looks pretty good to me. Here goes. Mmm, it's delicious. Wait a second. That was not as good as I thought it was. After I ate the whole thing, there's a few mistakes in there. Too much cream cheese, too many capers, the everything bagel was too spicy. Let's redo this. Cinnamon raisin bagel, a little sweet to offset the savory, 20 seconds in the microwave, so it's not too warm because the cream cheese melted last time. This time we'll do honey pecan cream cheese, just on one side this time. Fewer capers. Just a splash of purple onion. And the other half of the lox from yesterday. There we go, let's give that a try. Round two. Way better. I do appreciate the sweet and the savory. Everything was just too overpowering last time. This is better. Maybe somewhere in between would be good. Either way, now let's go to New York and try one. All right, now we have to go into the city and go to Liberty Bagel. Can't go to New York without having their best bagels. I got the works on a blueberry bagel with bacon cream cheese. Oh, look at those hash browns. Nice. I got the works on a rainbow bagel. Wow, that. And then I got the classic Nova on everything, so I have basically cream cheese capers, tomatoes, and lox. I'm so excited to see that. All right, taste test is gonna happen right now to see if the New York bagel is better or worse than the one I made at home back in Minnesota. Fresh bagel, I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna definitely say that it's better in New York. The bagel is plumper. The ingredients are almost like, I don't know, fresher, more airy. I don't know what it is, and maybe it's the fact that I'm in New York, but I'm definitely giving this one to New York City. Okay, Franklin, how does the rainbow bagel uh, itself taste? It's got a strong flavor of like magic and unicorn parts. And now that I'm getting to the end of it, I'm getting a subtle taste of pot of gold. Nice. That was so good. There's no onions in there, but I'd have to say the tomato really makes the sandwich. Because otherwise it's just like the cream cheese and the lox. I don't know why, but that tomato really hit the spot. Didn't taste the capers too much, but a little bit. Perfect sandwich. Just when you thought the video was over, not quite yet. We're back in Minnesota and we're at Burger's Bagels and what did I just order? Pretty much the Nova, but they call it the smoked salmon bagel sandwich. Now this one has the cream cheese, the smoked salmon, tomato, capers, and they put the onion on. So all these sandwiches are slightly different. So let's open this up and take a look at it. Here it goes. And once again, I got it on the everything bagels just to stay consistent. Let's take a look at this sandwich here. And there we have it. We have the Cream cheese capers, smoked salmon, tomato, and the onion. So let's do a taste test. And they have the 
uh, everything stuff on both sides. It's actually quite delicious. The flavors are awesome. And I think once again, you know what makes this sandwich? It's the tomato. I don't know why, but it makes it really good. It has the perfect amount of everything on it. Uh, the only difference here, the major difference, is the bagel is quite a bit smaller than the one we got in New York. But it is soft and it is, it's really nice. So this is probably my second choice. So to rate all of the sandwiches, the two I made at home and then the one we had in New York last week and now the one we have here, I'm gonna say the number one is the New York one. The number two one is the one at Burger Bagel. And then I have to say the number three and four ones are the ones I made at home. So I'm not gonna try to make this at home anymore. But if I do want one of them in town, we'll come over here to Brugger's. Otherwise, I can't wait for our next trip to New York. That's it. That's the end of the video now, I promise. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out.